Back, House Republicans need to find a new candidate to be the Speaker of the House. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan dropped out on Friday after not getting enough votes for the seat. Natalie Branch shares more details from Capitol Hill. On day 20 without a Speaker of the U.S. House, Republicans are starting the process all over again. This is probably one of the most embarrassing uh, things I've seen because if we don't have a Speaker of the House, we can't govern. And every day it goes by, we're essentially shut down as a government. Nine candidates are now vying for the gavel. They'll make their case to their colleagues behind closed doors Monday evening. Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer, who is already in a House leadership position as Majority Whip, has won the support of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. He sets himself head and shoulders above all those others who want to run. We need to get him elected this week and move on. Congressman Emmer and one other candidate, Georgia's Austin Scott, are the only two on the list of speaker hopefuls who voted to certify the 2020 election. But Emmer's vote could put him at odds with ardent supporters of former President Donald Trump. Well, I think he's my biggest fan now because he called me yesterday and he told me I'm your biggest fan, so I don't know about that. Internal GOP divisions have made it impossible so far for any one lawmaker to gain the 217 votes needed for a majority on the House floor. Yet Republicans are hoping to unite behind a speaker nominee as early as tomorrow. Well, House Republicans are scheduled to hold secret ballots Tuesday morning to determine who will be their speaker nominee with nine candidates in the race. That balloting process could take a while to play out.